Hi guys, today we're gonna learn everything about pizza from kneading the pizza dough to making the delicious margarita pizza topping with all the tips and tricks that you should know in just only one video. So let's get started with the pizza dough. For that you need strong white flour 500 gram or you can take the maida, salt 1 teaspoon and yeast 1 sachet or 7 gram. We're just going to mix all the dry ingredients and then I'm going to take warm water, 325 ml of warm water and mix, add water little by little and do not add the whole water at once because it will liquidize your dough. Once you have added all the water, you have to press the dough to make a very smooth pizza dough. The method I'm using here is pressing the dough with my hands and folding it. You can use your both hand to press the dough or you can use the single hand as well. So the tip here is you have to do this step at least 10 minutes to make a very very smooth dough. If the dough is sticking on your hand, you can apply a few drops of oil on your hand and then knead the dough. It will not stick anymore. Now you can see my dough is shaping. There is no any lump and it is very smooth. Now shape the dough into long rectangle because we want to divide it into four equal parts. You can use it any uh, serrated knife or hands and I'm using here my hands to divide the dough into four equal parts. I'm applying water on my hands so it will not stick on my hands. Now take a very large plate or tray, spread some semolina on that. If you don't have semolina, you can take plain flour. Now I'm applying some oil on my hands and taking one dough bowl, shaping it in a very round pretty ball and putting it on the tray. And repeat the same step for other three balls. Once you have put all your four balls on this semolina, make sure you put them on some distance because this dough has to rise. And this is my tip number two. We have to rest the dough balls, not the full-fledged dough. Apply some oil on the dough balls and cover them with the damp clothes and rest for at least two hours to rise. After two hours, let's see. Wow, look, dough has risen amazingly high. It's amazing, isn't it? Now the next step is we have to roll the dough. There are two methods. The first method is you can stretch the dough with your hands. You don't need any rolling pin for that. You just stretch it with your hands and you just put a little pressure and stretch. And put it on your pizza baking tray. The next method is with a rolling pin. I'm using semolina. If the dough is sticking, you can use semolina or either you can use a dry white flour. Roll it until you get your desired pizza crust thickness. I'm rolling it to make a very thin round disc. Now you just put it on your pizza tray and apply some tomato sauce or pizza sauce. You can check the recipe for this pizza sauce on top of here. Now I'm applying some cheddar cheese. This is just colored cheddar cheese. On top of that you can spread any fresh basil leaves. I don't have basil leaves so I'm spreading the spinach, baby spinach leaves. Now spread some mozzarella cheese. We have to bake this margarita pizza for around 10 to 12 minutes on 250 degrees on the top shelf of your oven. 
Our margarita pizza is ready. You see how beautifully it is baked. Now I'm going to cut it into slices. Before that, you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Look, oh my God, this is amazingly beautiful and delicious. See, the pizza crust is baked perfectly. It is light, it is fluffy and it is crusty and crispy on the bottom. Please try this recipe at home and do let me know in comment section below how your pizza turned out. Thank you. Take care. Bye.